In 1983, a promotional videotape was played and introduced by Mercurio Arborea, founder of the Arborea Institute. He has long dreamed of fulfilling happiness, peace, and contentment. At the Institute, they discovered a way to make people achieve this dream of blissful emotions with new therapeutic technologies such as benign pharmacology, sensory therapy, and energy sculpting. With their advanced facilities and award-winning gardens, he invites people to join the Institute. One day, a young woman named Elena is found disassociating in an empty room controlled by the prism's energy source. The head researcher of the Arborea Institute, Barry Nile, approaches a machine and commands it to prepare Elena for her daily sensory therapy. A staff member at the Institute, Margot, assists an emotionless Elena into a special room divided by a glass wall. Barry arrives on the other side of the glass wall, where he observes her and asks how she's feeling. With no reply, he takes down notes. He asks if Elena has any headaches, but she remains silent, staring at the ground. Barry taps his pen, increasing the pace while Elena grips onto her chair in discomfort. Finally, the girl sheds a tear, and Barry commends her for crying. Elena is assisted out of the room while Margot's nose starts to bleed. Barry drives home and heads downstairs upon arriving. In a serious demeanor, he wakes Rosemary, his wife, who's surprised that he's home. Barry asks her if she's been sleeping, and Rosemary lies, claiming that she's meditating. Seeing him in doubt, she asks if he's alright. Barry confirms, so Rosemary offers him food, but he isn't hungry but tired. They say their good nights while Rosemary immediately falls back to sleep. As Barry prepares for bed, he takes multiple pills, one at a time, then looks at his reflection with a strange smile. At the Institute, Elena wakes up and approaches a TV on the wall. Without pushing buttons, she surfs through the channels, separated by static intervals as Elena stares blankly ahead. She stumbles upon a cartoon show and shifts the slightest smile but returns to her sorrowful expression. The following day, Barry expresses his sympathy to Elena that she could never meet her mother. He comments that her mother was a very desirable woman. Still not getting a reaction from the young girl, Barry asks if she wants to have a photo of her mother. He tells her that he left the photo in her room and comments that Elena looks more like her every day. That night, Elena checks under the bed and finds the photo. Quickly, she takes it and stares at the photo of her supposed mother, not knowing that Barry is observing her through the surveillance video. After a while, a tearful Elena quietly gets up from bed when she hears a loud heartbeat. She follows the sound to a wall and leans closer to listen. Suddenly, the energy source pulses just as she hears a sharp thud on the wall, so she backs away in fear. One day, in the glass-divided room, Barry notices that Elena looks tired. He wonders if the girl is easily disillusioned since she doesn't know who or what she is. Barry, on the other hand, knows who he is, thus giving him confidence and power. He claims to know who Elena is, so he can guide her to find her inner strength and power. Barry explains that everyone has other forms, and her inner self needs someone else to complete her. He offers himself to help her with that. Suddenly, Elena's eyes pulsate, Barry's vision blurs, and he experiences a headache as he finally hears Elena's voice in his head. She demands to see her father before returning to her melancholic state. The experience seems to excite Barry, leaving him breathless. However, he reminds her that she can't see her father because she's very sick. He claims that the world is in chaos, and she's not ready for it. This makes Elena cry in her silence. Still, Barry promises that she'll see her father one day. That evening, Margot smokes as she makes her way home but stops when she notices a light in the hallway. She observes her surroundings as she slowly walks across until she notices a button that's flickering. She pushes it multiple times before it releases a notebook. Scanning through the pages, she finds research notes, photos of Elena's mother, and screen caps of Elena in her isolation. Pages label the young girl as a telekinetic danger who must be sedated. The pages also show uncanny drawings of human anatomy that disturb the woman. In horror, she quickly puts the notebook back and drops cigarette ashes as she leaves. At Barry's house, the phone rings, but Barry is busy observing a specimen. He tells Rosemary to pick it up but eventually does it himself. Despite only hearing static muffles and unintelligible sounds, Barry replies to the caller, assuring them that the systems are in place and a comprehensive list has been compiled. He then listens to the caller with shocked, tearful eyes until the line disconnects. On edge about the call, Barry quietly curses that Rosemary didn't pick up the phone. He redials the number, but the phone isn't working. He then lies down on the floor, seeing that the telephone cable is unplugged. Barry rushes to the Institute and spots the flickering button and cigarette ashes on the floor. He cleans it up and takes a pill to calm him down, feeling like everything is melting away. Moments later, Barry approaches Margot as she's working. Suspicious, he tells her that Elena may be hiding an illicit object, so they must keep an eye on her. Curious, Margot asks Barry how Elena could have gotten the object. 
Barry claims he doesn't know either but will solve it soon. Later, Margot brings Elena her dinner. She notices the girl holding a picture and approaches her to see it. When she doesn't respond, Margot reaches in and takes the photo, asking her who's in the photo. Meanwhile, Barry watches them through a camera. Margot interrogates Elena about her mother, but she trembles in silence. Margot just crumples the photo then walks away. Barry turns the prism's energy source down, allowing Elena to use her powers in anger. She looks at Margot with tearful eyes and Margot suddenly struggles to breathe. She begs Elena to stop, but Elena continues until Margot's head is crushed, spilling blood all over her face. Behind the screen, Barry smiles, satisfied at the scene. The girl then takes the photo back and hesitantly wanders outside her room. As Barry watches, he turns up the prism's energy source, testing his control over Elena's powers. The prism weakens her, so she slowly collapses to the floor. He then turns it down again, relieving Elena as she gasps for air. Abruptly, Barry pushes a button, dispersing mist that sedates Elena. He then releases a menacing android called a Sentionaut, which approaches an unconscious Elena and injects her with a tracker. Back in her room, Elena is passed out while Barry watches. Soon, Barry heads to a dark, unsettling room full of medication and asks Mercurio if he's awake. Mercurio, now retired and ill, is delighted to see his loyal subordinate. The ill man talks about how the trappings of the mortal world are merely distractions since what truly matters is what's on the inside. Struggling to function, Mercurio requests if Barry could assist him. As Barry approaches his array of medication, Mercurio brings up how simple life was back then. However, this reminds Barry of an old experiment. In 1966, Mercurio set Barry on a dangerous experiment. Ready to start his journey, Barry ingested a chemical, and Mercurio's wife, Anna, wished him good luck. Barry submerged himself in a tub of black fluid, and Mercurio instructed him to bring home the mother load. Inside the fluid, Barry saw distorted horror imagery of disintegrating bodies, traumatizing him under psychosis. Eventually, Barry crawled out of the tub and vomited the black fluid. He gasped for air, choking and wailing. Insane, Barry clung to a frightened Anna and bit her neck, gushing out bodily fluids and killing her. A baby was born, so Mercurio held her and named her Elena, the successful experiment with holding psychic powers. He told her that her mother's sacrificial absorption into the cycle of life had a purpose for the new era of the human race. Stepping away from the memories, Barry prepares a substance in the syringe. Mercurio then asks how Elena is doing, and he assures him that she's well. Barry injects him with a substance, and Elena suddenly awakens through a connection as soon as the syringe penetrates. Relieved, Mercurio continues to watch nature videos. However, shortly after Barry leaves, Mercurio takes his last breath and dies from the substance Barry injected into him. Back at home, Barry finds his sedated wife asleep with a TV left on. Alone, he removes his wig and contact lenses. He puts on a black suit and reveals a briefcase containing a sacrificial dagger called the Devil's Teardrop. He's interrupted by Rosemary looking for him, so he quickly puts away the briefcase. He comes out and shocks Rosemary with his appearance. Seeing him without his wig and lenses, she wonders why he removed them, as he hasn't allowed her to see him this way in a long time. However, he doesn't respond, so she apologizes for the time she wasn't supportive enough despite the struggles he's been through. Still, Barry slowly approaches her and says he isn't okay. Seemingly afraid, Barry claims to have seen things that others don't, such as the eyes of God. The traumatized man holds his wife close to him as he describes it as something so beautiful, resembling a black rainbow. Spiraling into insanity, he then concludes that he was chosen, but Rosemary is worthless. He grips her face tighter, cracking her skull with his bare hands as he claims to be setting her free. Back at the Institute, Elena wakes up, disoriented from the prism's energy. She makes her way out of the room and wanders around. Arriving on another floor, she spots a sentinot so she quietly evades it. Weary of her surroundings, she creeps and finds another sentinot roaming the hallway. With no other option, Elena hears a sound coming from the walls and gets in the vent. Little does she know, the sentinot sees the open vent. Elena cautiously climbs the vent and enters a room with a monstrous zombified man in a straitjacket. Frightened, Elena tries to use her powers. However, the prism suppresses her. As she crawls her way out, the mutant creature squirms towards her, ready to bite. Fortunately, she crawls out the door and closes it, trapping the creature. The young woman gets in an elevator, only to find a sentinot standing before her when it opens. Frightened, she closes her eyes and accepts her doom. Instead, the sentinot removes its mask and reveals its young, pale white face. With it not moving, Elena carefully walks past it and reaches a lounge room. Unfamiliar with the strange items, she opens the back door and steps outside. Side. Elena is then greeted with a new environment in the Arborea award-winning gardens. Past the gardens, she finds a maintenance area where she opens a vent, finally leading her to the outside world for the first time. Admiring the quiet surroundings, her emotions start to rush in as she feels the soil against her skin. 
Meanwhile, the unmasked monstrous Barry searches for Elena but finds her room empty. Still, he crouches over her bed, smelling her scent. While driving to search for her using the tracker, Barry sees his masked self on the passenger seat, commending him for doing a good job. Meanwhile, Elena basks in her freedom, amazed by the starry night skies, before sleeping on the grass. However, Barry continues to follow her with a tracker until he reaches a dead end. Nearby, two men drink and hang out by a campfire. One of them leaves to urinate, but Barry finds him and stabs him in the throat with a devil's teardrop. His friend hears something unusual and calls out to check if he's alright. However, Barry appears behind the man and holds the dagger to his throat, demanding where Elena is. Possessive of the girl, Barry accuses him of doing unlawful acts toward Elena. Clueless, the man claims he doesn't know anything, but Barry doesn't believe him and stabs his mouth. Elena wakes up and sees Barry standing behind her. As he approaches, he tells her that she's beautiful when she sleeps and pleads for her to return. Scared, she slowly backs away, and Barry's feet get trapped on the ground, unsure whether it's Elena's powers or a mere accident. In an attempt to get her, he trips and cracks his head on a stone, thus killing him. Elena laughs as she looks at Barry's dead body, knowing that she's finally free from him. Soon, the psychic Elena walks away and finds herself in a neighborhood, hopeful to find the life she was denied for so long. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.